Hello there, everybody. This is the Arctic Platypus here today, and Seven is that I just updated today. It. Well, I'll go over my opinion at the very end. This is basically an update centered around players who play on large servers, as you will see with basically all of the changes in this update. Firstly, the, probably the biggest general update in here is the land protection system. The developers have added a new game mode called Survival PvP, which, as you can see in the name, is centered around large servers. In this game mode, there are multiple other options to alter before making a world. You can change the size of the land protection, which is the block radius around the new keystone block. This keystone block is spawned with when you open up the game, and you can place it on the ground where you want to make your new house. It will make a radius of protection around the keystone block. You can also change the number of blocks between two keystones, the number of days the player can be offline before the property disappears, and other settings about the multiplayer land protection. Another really important addition is the ability to upgrade and downgrade blocks. It is quite complicated to figure this out, so I will just explain it. Instead of placing the wood plank blocks which you used to do to make a house, you have to place either the wood frames or the rebar frames. The wood frames are crafted with the new wood plank items, and the rebar frames are crafted with the short metal pipes. You also need a stone axe to upgrade the blocks. You'll take this random stone axe, nobody knows why it's a stone axe, I would not figure it out if I didn't look up a, a video. I don't know how that person even figured it, up, figured it out, but whatever. And you have to have the needed upgrade material in the inventory. This will be wood planks and scrap iron for the wood frames, and the rebar will need cobblestone, cement, and also scrap iron. Uh, the cobblestones and cement are new items, just meant for this. Using the stone axe on the frames will upgrade them into their different stages. Um, and you have to get them all to their final stages if you want the best possible block. If you didn't follow what I just said, you can see it on the screen. It makes a lot more sense there, but it's really hard to put out in words, surprisingly. We also have a new system of door and chest locking, which will allow you to set passcodes on your doors, unlock your doors, open your doors, uh, have a friends gift the passcodes to unlock your doors, chests the same way. So that is a very cool feature, I think, actually, which is good for big servers, of course. Anyways, there's also, there's also a new friend system, which is in the same UI as the inventory and the character menus. This allows you to add friends in game. It's not the Steam friends. It's just any friends that is on the multiplayer server. A new voice chat system has also been added, which I haven't tested yet, but I assume it's quite cool. I mean, this game needed one of those anyway. If you're talking to people, if they want to kill you, then, of course, you can tell them, plead, plead them, and ask, beg them to not kill you. Of course, you don't want to die in this game, although you can just pick up your stuff, unless they have a set so you don't. Oh, whatever. In the world, there are also new sub-biomes within the large biomes which makes the biomes more diverse and interesting, I think. I'm pretty sure I also came across a blueberry patch in the snow biome, which was fairly interesting. And this, that feature, that feature right there, that sub-biome thing, is the only thing I like in this update, but I'll, th that, that will make more sense after this uh, last feature and my final opinion. Okay, so there's also new resource boulders on the surface of the earth, which drop resources usually found underground. So you know how you go underground, you mine, you make a cave, and you get those resources. You get iron, tungsten, whatever. You get all that stuff, coal and uh, potassium nitrate to make gunpowder. You find that underground, you have to go to the work of digging out the ground and making stuff. This feature of the new resource boulders on the surface of the earth just simply pisses me off, because it only helps the lazy bastards who don't want to go down into the caves and mine stuff legitimately. They don't want to do it the real way, no. The developers, I mean, nothing against the developers, I mean, I bet people, bet people begged them for this, but it just helps those lazy bastards. And it also copies Rust, and although that is a good game, resources above ground are unrealistic at random, and that's kind of what defines Rust. But 7 Days to Die is not Rust. Oh, okay, overall, as you can tell, I'm not, not fond of this update at all. I mean, it's just the sub-biomes that I like. Sure, it's a quite, quite a large update, but... I think that it is sending Seven Days to Die and head-on into the shit pile of all the other PvP games. It's like, 
It's like DayZ kind of, well, it's not DayZ, not even close to DayZ yet. I hate DayZ if, you, if you've seen my, uh, my, um, up review video over it. I was, like, ranting, but I, I can't believe I didn't include my hate of PvP games in that. Anyways, this game was meant to be PvE, player versus the environment against the zombies, against just anything that's in the environment, like diseases and such. Now, this, with all these new changes, all these protections over people, okay, maybe the developers think it's preventing PvP? I know they don't want their game to be PvP, but, ah, with these protections, people will want to destroy the land more. Because without the protections, people will be like, oh, I guess the developers don't really want us to hurt this person, to seal his house, to seal his stuff. Maybe we should work you with each other and fight off the zombies, make a base, have some fun. But no, they're just going to want to shoot each other and kill each other, steal each other's stuff even more than they did before. And not that I, I don't play on the large servers just because of that, really. I love PvE. I love fighting the environment. And I think that's, that should be the sole pur purpose of the game. But these new people, these new people who play PvP only, who that's what they want to do, they're going to... They're going to get disappointed when they find out that the game's not really meant for that. They'll think it is, they'll buy it, and they'll play it. And then they'll be like, well, yeah, it's not so PV, I don't like it, I'll just go play DZ, DZ or whatever. But, no, and that's going to throw away a lot of players. Yeah, <sighs> just... Hmm. Anyways, I don't like this update, as you can tell. Whatever, though. It's on its way to becoming a real game. It's still an alpha. Maybe they'll revoke this update. I don't know if enough people will hate it. And, and if they watch this video, um, that is my opinion. But I just hope you all have a fantastic day. And peace out.